with that all unwrapped we can then collapse the uh, down to a mesh and uh, then we can start um, painting on it. The first thing to do is just to apply a material, we'll apply a standard material to this um, object and um, yeah that's uh, just fairly straightforward. We're going to be um, yeah, just drawing straight onto this plane. So let's go ahead, pick the paint tool. Uh, it then gives you a variety of options of which map you want to uh, paint onto. We want to paint onto the diffuse color. We then yeah, just set it as 1024, set the uh, file format uh, as well. Uh, we'll just save it straight onto uh, the, the desktop um, as a JPEG. And basically everything that we paint onto uh, that JPEG will be um, uh, sorry, paint onto that plane will then appear and saved within that JPEG, which is in our diffuse channel. So there we go, that's created, um, the texture's created, and we go to OK. Uh, opens the layer dialog box, um, let's create a new layer, uh, just so that we're not painting on the background. Um, so with the paint tool selected, uh, we can then just uh, adjust our radius and um, paint straight onto the, the plane. So. Um, yeah, it's incredibly versatile. I just thought just a really simple example would just uh, hopefully give you the um, uh, sort of the, the knowledge of the various tools that are available. We're not going to be looking at particularly real world examples, but just more at the tool set. Um, and then it's up to you to just think about uh, the various ways that this can be utilized.